Afternoon to all of you. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. But I'm feeling so tired because I was working over there for a long time since morning. And I was working there with two workers. And when I was working with them that time, I was just feeling their life and their struggle. That was really incredible. And their life is really hard. I, I can feel that. So right now I'm on the way, as you can see. And I'm going back to home. And over there, there is my home. And also you can see this is the beautiful view when I stay here especially that time I really enjoy this place because this place is really beautiful with beautiful nature okay so I you know most of the time I come here when we work here at this field that time I feel so excited to come here and I just you know be able to have this beautiful nature and around of me you can see a lot of houses and you know a lot of trees and over there you know a lot of they exactly come and go uh, to their home so sometimes i get a lot of questions like how to improve our speaking skill and how to speak like a native speaker okay this is really common if you ask me like this question even though I uh, you know get a lot of questions like this and uh, I want to share with you my experience how I mean what I used to do and still now what exactly I follow to be like a native speaker okay this is really interesting if you also want to be like this that time what do you have to do that is you have to be clear on your basic English and after then you have to be able to know what is you know a sentence and you have to know some uh, structures i mean sentence making structure you have to know how to make a questions and how to answer and how to reply of a, a question so after then what you can do that is you have to practice your english and you have to follow the thinking english okay and uh, when you are following the thinking English that time you can speak more and more like me because I exactly follow the thinking English okay and when you are uh, uh, following the thinking English at the same time you have to practice your English in our real life you know when I used to uh, stay at our vegetable shop that time I used to make a lot of examples by using different kind of vegetables name like I I really like tomato I don't like tomato potato is my favorite brinjal is my favorite so this is the way uh, to practice I mean this is the way of practicing and you have to practice a lot to be a fluent speaker so have a good day and uh, have a look at this beautiful weather and beautiful nature and keep learning keep enjoying your English and uh, bye